how to survive a train or plane crash, obviously very timely in light of that tragic train accident here in New York and the plane crash in Taiwan. And ABC's Matt Gutman has some important lessons that could help you get out alive. It's hard to imagine walking away from something as harrowing as this, or this. And while some did lose their lives in this week's fatal Metro North and Trans-Asia Airways crashes, others proved surviving catastrophe is possible. But how? Here at the Coast Guard's training center in North Carolina, they use a giant dunker to simulate plane crashes just like the Trans-Asia plane. The aircraft craning over, flipping and smashing into the water. It's like being inside a giant washing machine. But before I go under, here's what you can do before any flight even takes off. Experts say choose an aisle seat within six rows of the emergency exit. Statistics suggest this helps your chances of making it out safely. But if the plane actually crashes and then sinks, the Coast Guard says first grab a reference point like your chair and remove obstacles like armrests. Only then should you unbuckle your seatbelt and feel your way to a door or window. But watch when the jets turn on to simulate a storm. It's dark. I hold on to the seat, clear obstacles, unbuckle, and head for the window. It's stuck. I struggle for 40 long seconds before a little elbow grease pops it out and I swim to safety. From planes to trains where basic safety steps can also increase your chances of surviving a crash. Listen to the conductor, listen for instructions, try to know what's in your surroundings. Transportation expert Robert Passwell also says take a seat where your back is facing the direction of travel. If the train crashes, you'll be thrust backwards instead of thrown into the car. Finally, avoid seats with luggage overhead. If the luggage falls, it can injure you or block your exit path. Simple tips that could save your life. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Philadelphia.